My relationships have never been cleared for takeoff, but at least I'm not the only one in my family not to be married. We have some news. I'm engaged. <laughs> I can't go to my little sister's wedding single. If you need a man, honey, I can get you one of those. It's not a man I need. It's a husband or a potential husband in a month. Why don't you marry Gail? If she goes a week without waxing her mustache, they'll think it's Steve Harvey. Paula. So the reason I got involved in this is I saw the movie with Black Tree Media last night and I said that this is a movie that all young girls need to see. Oh. Because it's like a modern day black fairy tale. I mean, oh. you know, and the only reason it's black is because the characters are African American. But the concept that someone could fall in love and ask you to marry them without having any intimacy, any sex is a concept that's probably above the scope of most people. So I've been encouraging Everybody since I saw this that this is the movie that, oh. that girls need to see this year. Well, I'm so glad you say that because mm -hmm. it, in many ways it's a classic romantic comedy. Yes, it it's gonna, you're going to leave feeling all warm and fuzzy inside and have lots of laughs. But it was something that David Talbert and I talked a lot about was that in this modern day that we live in, we can't have a woman just feel like, oh, now that i found love, I'm complete. The idea is, is that she's on this desperate search for love and she's compromising herself, she's dressing different ways for each person, but at the end of the day of that journey, she starts to fall in love with herself. And I think that's so important for women, a message for women is to say, you're enough on your own. And I, I love my mom, so mom, forgive me. But it's funny the way she'll I'll ask about a girlfriend that's doing really well, really successful. She's volunteering at the soup kitchen. She's funny and great. And she's like, but does she have a man? <laughs> Is she going to have a baby? And you're like, what? Is she nothing without that? That's ridiculous. I mean, we're so hard on women. Yeah. They don't do that to men. Right. So I thought, I just really important to me that, that, that there's sort of two happy endings in this movie. That one of them is that a woman comes into her own and mm -hmm. finds contentment and happiness with herself and realizes, I like to say this, is that you're the meal. You have to be the meal. Sure. And your partner should be the dessert, the cherry on top. That's great. That's great. <laughs> One of your exes is on a flight from Los Angeles to Houston. Montana. Langston. <gasps> Montana. Curtis. This is juicy. <laughs> Sorry, she's jealous. You need to be a JFK in an hour. I am not going over to that man's house. Do you know how crazy that would make me look? Hello? I'm in the trash can. Are you nuts? Hello? Oh! Oh! Montana Moore. Damon Diesel. Wow. You're doing well for yourself. Damon? Who is that? Damon! This ain't my house. It's hers. I can't afford this. Damn, damn door! She crazy. Open, open. Open, open, open! I told you she crazy. Crazy! She crazy! You know, you brought up two other things I wanted to talk to you about. Because you have that... Perfect life, you know. You had, you had the husband. Well, you know, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. let's let's put that with an yes. asterisk, okay? Because you, you know, <laughs> you have the American dream that everybody seems to think that you should have, which is a husband and a kid, you know. And so, for you to step into this role and do such a good job with it, and to be funny and warm, like I'd never seen you play such a hilarious character when oh. you climbed in the garbage can. <laughs> I've done that. You yeah, have you? Yes. <laughs> so, that's what I was going to ask you. So how much of this was taking from your real life and just... Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, I live vicariously <laughs> through my single friends sure. and their stories. Some of them are great. Some of them are sad. <laughs> but, but also remember, I mean, I was with my husband a long time before we got married. And I am like every woman. Love made me crazy. Mm -hmm. I was suspicious. And I drove all the way down to his house. <laughs> and I got in the bushes and I got caught. Oh, you did oh, get caught. caught. And that was the worst. Luckily, to my relief, nothing was going on. Yes. <laughs> His yeah. friends were there. They're like, hey, Paula. It was, it was humiliating. He's like, come on in. What did you see? No strippers. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but, but I, it, it's something about love that makes us all a little insane. Yeah, Do you know? Totally I mean, that's why there's so much poetry and songs and books and paintings about love because it's that thing that's so not scientific and we can't understand what it does that changes our whole body chemistry. Sure, it does. And you had a you have a one line in there, which is I think kind of the theme of the movie. And what's that? Something about being married isn't about. The importance of it isn't about the day, it's more about staying yeah, together. Yeah, well, you know, I, it's, it's actually Derek Luke's character said it's like, it's not about getting married, it's about staying married. Sure. 
And sometimes we get confused, especially as women, you know, you want the ring and you want mm -hmm. the really great party, but then the party's over. Yeah. And you got to get, get through the rest of it. So if you were pretending to be someone else to get that man or compromising, mm -hmm. it's not going to end up so well. And I think that's probably why there's a lot of divorce, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you need to find someone that's going to love you for all of your flaws and in spite of them, knows about all your baggage and doesn't care, loves you for you and is ready to ride or die with you. Yeah. And, and that is a partner you want to be with. Other than that, just try and enjoy your life. Have fun being single. Yeah. Trust me, there'll be moments in your marriage where you go, that was a lot of fun back then. Yeah, and I wish I had <laughs> so, stayed there a I'm longer. very happy, but you know, yeah. the grass is always greener. Try to enjoy the moment of being on your own with your friends, having a little blast. And then, of course, I think the men will come, and then the partner that you'll want to spend your life with will show up with that is, faith. That's great. And I, I'm hoping all the ladies and all, and all of the teenage girls and all the 20-something-year-olds come to the movie, because I think it's got a message that most movies don't give us. So I'm proud of the movie Aww. and proud to push it as the show, the Aww. movie that girls need to see this year. So. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I really yeah. appreciate that support. Great Please work. Great. Yeah.